Here are some steps to convert a console application to a web API project. First of all, we need to make some changes in the CS project file. What changes? We need to change the SDK in the CS process file. We need to remove the output type and we need to verify what is the target framework Monica. Let's open the CS process file for this console application. And to open the CS process file, we can double click on the name of this application. So here we are in the CS process file. By default, you can see what is the SDK. The SDK is Microsoft.net.sdk. Here is the output type. It is exe. And then what is the target framework? The target framework is Net Core App 3.1. As a first step in this conversion, we need to make some changes in this CS process file. Let's see some more details about this project. If I expand this dependencies, here you can see we have one folder for the frameworks. Let's expand this one also. So here you can see we have only one framework and the framework name is microsoft.netcore.app. Now let's start making the changes. Since we are dealing with the web API application, so we have to change the SDK to web. This is the first step. Then as a second step, since this is no longer a console application, so we do not need the output in the exe format. We have to remove this one from here like this and then we have to focus what is the target framework the target framework means which framework you want to use in your application since we want to use the latest framework of dotnet core that is dotnet core 5 so we have to use the moniker of dotnet core 5 framework in this place so let's remove this one from here the moniker for dotnet core 5.0 is net 5.0 and now i need to save the changes before I click on the save button, here you need to see some changes. Let's click on the save button. This time you can see some changes are happening in this application. Here in this framework, you can see a new framework has been added for us. The name is Microsoft.ASP.NET Core app. Earlier we were having only one framework that is .NET Core, but now we have one additional framework. Remember, the web API work on ASP.NET Core framework. And this is the reason we are using this ASP.NET Core. Let's click on this reload project and this time you can see the symbol of this application has been changed. Earlier it was a console application and now it is pointing to a web application. Let's open this dependencies again. Here we have added some analyzers and in the framework we have all the packages of ASP.NET Core framework. Here you can see we have all of them. Again, we got one more folder. The name is properties. Inside this properties folder we have the launch settings.json. And this file has all the properties that are required to run this application in the development environment. Save the changes. The first step of CS Pros is done. 